Reverend Insanity Chapter 1621 Fang Yuan's Tribulation Several months later, southern border. In a nameless ordinary valley. Ha! Rank 6 female immortal Ba Tao gave a loud shout as auras surged out from her body. She lifted her hands like she was bearing thousands of kilograms of weight. Her face quickly reddened and her body started trembling in exhaustion. Quick! Ba Tao urged. A Gu immortal who was standing at the side activated a killer move. This person was a young-looking rank 6 Gu immortal from Tai clan. He was Tai Yi, son of Tai Xiang. Red light spheres started rising up. Suddenly, with a loud sound, the spheres turned into a soaring red light pillar that shot towards the skies. But at this time, an old-looking Gu immortal revealed himself. He was standing on clouds. With a wave of his hand, he suppressed this red light pillar. The red light pillar dissipated, revealing a seven-floored pagoda that looked like it was forged from bronze. A fire was quietly burning on top of the pagoda. Done. Tai Yi let out a breath of air, revealing a satisfied expression. Another beacon tower is built. So exhausting. Ba Tao breathed a sigh of relief as she sat on the ground, panting. The old-looking Gu immortal slowly floated down. At the same time, countless Gu worms gathered and went inside his sleeves. This was a small group tasked to build beacon towers. There were three people. Tai clan Gu immortal Tai Yi was in charge of building the beacon towers. Ba Tao was supporting him, while the old Gu immortal was in charge of setting up a formation to disguise the process. After all, the commotion of the Beacon Tower's construction was huge and could easily be known by others. There were still more than a dozen of such groups. After Southern Border's Righteous Path forces agreed to collaborate, these small groups rushed everywhere to build Beacon Towers. Beacon Tower is indeed worthy of being Tai Clan's signature Immortal Goo House. It is truly unbelievable for a Goo House formed from Mortal Goo to be able to transport Goo Immortals. The old Gu immortal sighed while gazing at the beacon tower. Tai Yi helped Ba Tao stand and replied to the old Gu immortal. The true terror of beacon tower is that the higher the number of beacon towers built, the greater their overall power. To reach an immortal Gu house's power, there needs to be at least 100 beacon towers. Right now, the number of beacon towers in southern border is already over 1,000 and can transport rank 7 Gu immortals. But to transport rank 8s, we need at at least 10,000 beacon towers. Many thanks for clearing my doubts. The old Gu Immortal expressed his thanks. Tai Yi and the old Gu Immortal glanced at each other and smiled. If it were before, this secret of beacon tower absolutely could not be mentioned. But because Southern Border's righteous path was uniting, the Gu Immortal's attitude towards each other was gradually changing. If we had a beacon tower near that tributary of the River of Time, our southern border righteous path could have mobilized our troops and saved my grandfather in time. Ba Tao mumbled in a daze while looking at the beacon tower. Ba Tao, we still have hope. Wasn't Yi Clan's Gu Immortal released by Fang Yuan? This demon Fang Yuan just wants more cultivation resources. The old Gu Immortal consoled. Tai Yi did not speak, his mind was, however, in a disorder. His situation was similar to Ba Tao. His father Tai Zhong had also been captured by Fang Yun. He was of course furious and hated Fang Yun, but he had to admit that if Fang Yun had not captured so many southern border Gu immortals and made southern border righteous path feel pain, would southern border righteous path forces have united so quickly? Between comfort and pain, the latter was able to move people's hearts much more easily. Sometimes, Tai Yi felt this situation was ironic. Beacon Tower's plan had been Tai Clan's dream since long ago, but it had come to fruition because of a demonic path overlord. Naturally, there was also another important reason, the impending Great Era. But regardless, Fang Yuan's actions had played a key role. Whoosh whoosh. The Beacon Tower suddenly let out a strange sound, even slightly shaking for a moment. What's going on? This sight immediately attracted the old Gu Immortal's attention. 
He frowned and looked at Tai Yi. Ba Tao also casted her gaze at Tai Yi. She had participated in building many beacon towers, but had never seen this scene before. Were there some flaws in the construction of this beacon tower? Tai Yi's frown was even deeper. You don't need to worry, this scene is not because of an issue with this beacon tower. It is because one of the beacon towers spread throughout the southern border has been completely destroyed. Oh, so it was like that. The old Gu Immortal slightly relaxed. Ba Tao snorted coldly. This scene was within the expectations of Southern Border's righteous path. Although the construction of Beacon Towers had obtained the approval of Southern Border's righteous path, Southern Border's Gu Immortal world had demonic cultivators and lone cultivators as well. Beacon Towers were under the control of Tai Clan. It represented the benefits of Tai Clan and other Southern Border super forces, which had no relation to these demonic and lone cultivators. It was extremely likely for a beacon tower to be destroyed by these Gu Immortals if they discovered it. Investigate who attacked, we will kill them as a warning to the others. The old Gu Immortals killing intent sword. This was one of the methods, discussed by the Southern Border Righteous Path forces, to deal with such matters. However, at the next moment, Beacon Tower's anomaly shocked the three immortals. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. A series of strange sounds resounded for a while. The newly constructed Beacon Tower trembled non-stop like an epileptic patient. What happened? This, does this mean many Beacon Towers are being destroyed successively? Ba Tao and the old Gu Immortal once again looked at Tai Yi. This time, even Tai Yi was puzzled as he mumbled, Strange, does this beacon tower really have an issue? But at the next moment, their doubt was removed. The three immortals' expressions changed because they had received astonishing news at almost the same time. The mad destruction of beacon towers was caused by only one person. It was none other than the nefarious and unpardonable demonic path overlord Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan has outstanding wisdom path methods. It is not difficult for him to deduce the location of these beacon towers. He also has fixed immortal travel and can move anywhere freely. It is not strange for him to be able to do this. Tai Yi's expression was gloomy. Damn it! That incompetent heavenly court, they actually let Fang Yuan steal fixed immortal travel, Ba Tao said furiously with clenched fists, the old Gu Immortal was steady and cautious. We should return to our clans. Since Fang Yuan is moving about, it is not safe outside. Tai Yi and Ba Tao tensed up as they thought of Fang Yuan's methods, having no intention to stay behind. At the same time, Wu Yang, Kai Qiu and other clan leaders were in an urgent meeting. Fang Yuan probably noticed the threat of beacon towers, so he is taking an early action to destroy them. Look, my clan's beacon tower has already made him feel unease. Tai Clan's first supreme elder said. HMPH, just let him destroy. The construction of beacon towers is quite difficult and requires Gu immortals to personally do it. But they are only constructed with mortal Gu, so their cost is low. We can just let him destroy them. Shang Clan's first supreme elder laughed coldly, showing the aura of a wealthy force. Wu Yang, however, frowned. He had slightly more understanding of Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan is crafty. We cannot look down on him. I feel like his action has another deep meaning. It is not as simple as it looks. Wu Yang's words immediately attracted other Gu immortals' attention. One of them spoke, Would this be possible? Fang Yuan is going to undergo tribulation in southern border, and one of these beacon towers is extremely near to the location where he will undergo tribulation. So he took action and destroyed a large amount of them. It is reasonable. Quick, gather wisdom path Gu immortals to make deductions. As long as Fang Yuan makes a move, he will leave behind all kinds of clues. Right now, he is making a big commotion. We will definitely have more gains in our deductions. After a round of deductions, there were indeed great results. 
Southern Border Righteous Path obtained three locations which had the greatest possibility of being the areas where Fang Yuan would undergo tribulation. Quickly investigate. These three areas should be emphasized and guarded heavily. Similar commands were passed down. Southern Border's Gu Immortal World moved with an unprecedented and united pace, all to kill their common enemy. A moment later, shocking news reached every southern border force, there was an unusual disturbance of heaven and earth Kai in the five regional mountain range, and its range was extremely large. Chapter 1622 Besieging Fang Yuan Five regional mountain range, Jun Shen Guang's thoughts flickered. Fang Yuan's unbridled destruction of beacon towers caused a huge commotion, even heavenly court, which had very weak influence in southern border, was able to detect it. Southern border's righteous path forces had gathered many wisdom path Gu immortals and deduced three locations, which also included the five regional mountain range. While in heavenly court, fairies I Y deduced alone, but had found out about five regional mountain range a step earlier. Jun Shen Guang immediately moved towards the five regional mountain range, at the same time, all kinds of relevant information about the five regional mountain range appeared in his mind. This five regional mountain range was not a naturally formed mountain range, but was man-made. The person who could create such a mountain range was naturally not ordinary. He was rank 8 restriction path Gu Immortal Tao Zhu. This person had extraordinary attainment level and was called restriction expert. He had done deep research regarding the five regional walls. He attempted to find a way to allow Gu immortals to travel through the regional walls easily. Unfortunately, even until his death, there had been no progress. But this five regions mountain range was left behind and became a special area in southern border. Senior Thunder Ghost True Monarch was beaten by Fang Yuan when she chased him into the regional wall. This battle revealed the secret of Fang Yuan receiving almost no suppression in regional walls. The regional walls can even be said to be his natural territory. Unfortunately for him, it is almost impossible to draw in heaven and earth Kai in regional walls. He definitely can't undergo tribulation in the regional walls. But five regional mountain range is different. This area is man-made and has ample earth Kai since it is in southern border, Heaven Kai is also not scarce in it. It is also able to provide some territorial advantages for Fang Yuan. Jun Shen Guang was extremely fast. He had already crossed tens of thousands of Lai, while all kinds of thoughts moved rapidly in his mind. He could already see the five regional mountain range on the horizon. Jun Shen Guang was able to so quickly rush to the scene because he had been lurking near this area. Everyone knew of the five regional mountain range, it was not a secret. Months ago, Fairy Zai Wai had deduced some locations where Fang Yuan might undergo tribulation. Five regional mountain range was among the top possible locations. As such, the five regional mountain range was one of the heavily observed locations by Heavenly Court. This time, to deal with Fang Yuan, Fairy Zai Wai did not hesitate to transfer many rank 8 Gu Immortals into the other four regions. Southern Border had two, Jun Shen Guang was one of them, the other was a rank 8 Gu Immortal, Wai Feng, who was rather far away but was currently rushing towards the location with all haste. Jun Shen Guang reached close to five regional mountain range and activated a killer move to hide himself before carefully moving forward. Swoosh swoosh. Endless amounts of heaven and earth Kai, like giant river waves, were drawn in and gathered in the central area of the five regional mountain range. That area was covered in shadows and bright light. Nothing could be seen. That area was like a bottomless hole that endlessly devoured the enormous amount of heaven and earth Kai. This scale, it is truly terrifying, Jun Shen Guang felt a chill from the sight. He quickly activated his unique investigative methods. After Fang Yuan successfully trapped and captured the group of southern border Gu immortals, Jun Shen Guang had appeared to inspect the battlefield. Right now, Jun Shen Guang was vigilant and did not dare to rashly move ahead even though he was a rank 8 Gu immortal, 
a rank higher than Fang Yuan. If by any chance, he rashly entered the five regional mountain range and discovered it was Fang Yuan's trap, it would be truly miserable. After Jun Shen Guang inspected properly, he confirmed someone was indeed undergoing tribulation. But whether it was Fang Yuan or not was unknown. Jun Shen Guang was extremely patient and used other methods. After a while of investigation, he confirmed an otherworldly demon was undergoing tribulation. As such, Jun Shen Guang was almost 100% sure this was where Fang Yuan was. He is truly undergoing tribulation here, Jun Shen Guang mumbled, his gaze holding some disbelief. But he quickly reacted, smiling at himself. The truth sounds fake while the lies sound real. Fang Yuan is clearly here, but I actually don't dare to believe it. Northern Plains High Tribe had unique methods that could detect otherworldly demons. Heavenly Court naturally also had similar killer moves. Back when Fairy Zai Wai had tried to persuade Fang Yuan to surrender, she had revealed, Heavenly Court is the Heavenly Court of Humanity. Even otherworldly demons would be accepted in it. Heavenly Court had indeed recruited otherworldly demons before, but there were no clear records in history, so others were unaware. It was not strange for Heavenly Court to possess such methods. Jun Shen Guang was currently using this method. The probability of Fang Yuan taking such methods into consideration and deceiving us is too low. After all, even if he has reborn, this method was specially modified by Lady Zai Wai recently. I've heard that after Yu and Qiong Du joined Heavenly Court, besides being in charge of restoring Fate Gu, he has also been refining Immortal Gu targeted towards dealing with Fang Yuan. There were cases in history where Rank 8 Demonic Path Gu Immortals caused havoc in the world. When Heavenly Court became unable to restrain them easily, they would refine Immortal Gu to deal with such demons. This kind of Immortal Gu were specially meant to subdue specific demons, and as such had extraordinary effect. Fang Yuan was only rank 7 but was already thought so highly by Heavenly Court. A case like this was unprecedented even in history. There could be another reason. He is no longer able to delay the Grand Tribulation and must undergo the Tribulation. Jun Shen Guang's eyes flashed with sharp light. Someone was undergoing Tribulation here and that person was an otherworldly demon. It was clear that person was Fang Yuan. If it were someone else, who would come to this place to undergo tribulation? Adding on the scale of the heaven and earth Kai, and the otherworldly demon identity, who else could it be other than Fang Yuan? Good, good, good. Fang Yuan, my heavenly court has finally caught you. Jun Shen Guang's face shined with increasing excitement. Fang Yuan had already started his tribulation and could not move casually during this time. He had become a live target. Even if he had fixed immortal travel, how could he use it? This could be said to be Fang Yuan's weakest moment. Jun Shen Guang's expression slowly calmed down, turning serious as a deadly and murderous aura moved around his body. If I kill Fang Yuan, I will make a world-shaking contribution. Jun Shen Guang's heart was set on fire. It was truly lucky that he could encounter such a good opportunity. No wonder Lady Zai Wai once told me that I had abundant luck. Although it is not a match for Fang Yuan's, I won't be suppressed by his luck as long as I don't make the first move. If I stalk from behind like an Oriole, waiting for Fang Yuan's luck to weaken, I have a chance to win. Jun Shen Guang's eyes were already burning with killing intent. So what if it is the five regional mountain range? It is only an imitation of the regional walls. Even if Fang Yuan was undergoing tribulation in the regional wall, I, Jun Shen Guang, would forcibly enter and kill him. Rumble. A sonic wave suddenly erupted as an immortal Gu house charged into the five regional mountain range like lightning. Jun Shen Guang's heart immediately chilled. Clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building? These southern border immortals arrived really fast. Sure enough. The beacon towers help them a lot. Even my heavenly court does not have such methods to gather troops so quickly. When we invade southern border in the future, 
We must first get rid of these beacon towers. Jun Shen Guang was actually somewhat happy to see these southern border righteous path forces. He wanted these people to spearhead the attack, wearing down Fang Yuan's battle strength and luck. Clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building rose to the sky. Wu Yang and the southern border righteous path immortals were looking at the whole five regional mountain range from within the bamboo building. Many Gu immortals felt puzzled and stunned at such a scale of heaven and earth Kai. Some wisdom path Gu immortals deduced together, and soon, one of them excitedly said, It is almost certain that Fang Yuan is undergoing tribulation here. Great. Wonderful, wonderful. Fang Yuan is a heinous demon with deep sins. We will avenge our southern border righteous paths brethren by taking his head today. We are saving the world by killing this demon. We will bring blessings to the people of the world. HMPH, this Fang Yuan really thinks my southern border righteous path is a pushover. He is really undergoing tribulation in southern border. Hehe, <laughs> he probably thought we will be afraid because he has our members in captivity. Little could he imagine how firm our southern border righteous path is in defending our values. The southern border immortals were full of battle intent. Zia clan's second supreme elder Zia Zhao and third supreme elder Zia Chen Yuan looked at each other with helplessness. They really wanted to save their first supreme elder Zia Cha, but they had no choice but to go with the flow in this atmosphere. Southern border's righteous path forces were already suppressing deep anger from being extorted by Fang Yuan. It was just that they were not able to find Fang Yuan's location. After calculating the benefits, they chose to be extorted to protect the hostages. But at this moment, Fang Yuan was in front of them. As long as they killed him, they might be able to obtain inheritances of multiple venerables, countless cultivation resources, and several secluded domains of heaven and earth. The soaring hatred and the enormous benefits made these southern border Gu immortals' eyes turn red. Our Southern Border Righteous Path Alliance is newly established. We need to establish a name for ourselves using an infamous demon. Fang Yuan is perfect for this. Everyone, this damn demon is undergoing tribulation. We have limited time. We will attack from all sides and make his death anniversary exactly a year from now. Under Wu Yang's command, Southern Border Righteous Path immortals rushed out. They had a powerful group of immortals, Kai Q, Shang Wu Jai, and other rank 8 Gu immortals. Seniors with high authority like Zia Zhao and others, rank 7 experts like Yao Du, Hu Teng, Ba De, and so on. Even Jun Shen Guang who was hiding inwardly clicked his tongue. This was almost the full force of Southern Border's righteous path. There were probably only some minor rank 6 immortals left to guard their headquarters. At this moment, inside the Sovereign Immortal Aperture. Heaven Kai was surging rapidly, boundless lumps of lights condensed into dozens of giant beams of light and shot towards Fang Yuan. Earth Kai solidified, restraining Fang Yuan's movement. Fang Yuan was austere, his attention was not on the tribulation, but outside his immortal aperture. Oh wow, quite a number of people have showed up. Southern Border's righteous path really hates me. Of course the wealth I possess is also extremely attractive. Besides them, there definitely have to be heavenly courts goo immortals lying in ambush, but I am not able to find them for now. He had captured many southern border goo immortals and soul searched them, gaining deep understanding of southern border's righteous path, but he did not dare to have any hint of carelessness right now. Southern Border's righteous path had robust foundations and hidden trump cards, especially some deeply hidden trump cards, even the clan's first supreme elder might not be aware of them, let alone the captives in Fang Yuan's hands. The beacon towers are troublesome indeed. Fang Yuan heaved a sigh. I destroyed so many, but it is extremely easy for them to construct more again. In my first life of 500 years, Southern Border was defeated repeatedly before they finally began constructing beacon towers on a large scale. In this life, because of me, the construction of the beacon towers has been brought forward. Those holding high positions are indeed not simple, 
They cannot be underestimated. Chapter 1623, Eight Ears Monkey The southern border immortals immediately felt strong forces of repulsion and attraction when they entered the five regional mountain range. They activated their killer moves to move forward while maintaining defensive methods. Their immortal apertures shook constantly as they suffered backlash from their immortal killer moves. This demon chose quite a good place, some southern border goo immortals said with hatred. Even if my immortal aperture is destroyed, I will get rid of this demon. Many goo immortals instead became filled with battle intent as their thoughts of killing Fang Yuan became even more firm. Fang Yuan was so crafty and vicious, he was audacious and arrogant, having no fear of even heavenly court let alone of the other region's righteous paths. This person was only rank 7 but had ambushed southern borders righteous path immortals and taken them captive for ransom. If he was allowed to advance to rank 8, how disastrous would that be? If Fang Yuan was a righteous path member, it would be fine. Righteous Path had to abide by rules, but he was of the demonic path, a lone individual. He killed or robbed others for the cultivation resources he needed. This was an irreconcilable conflict. Moreover, Fang Yuan not only had terrifying battle strength to kill and loot, he could even defend against deductions. This was too frightening. This calamity must be eradicated as early as possible. Kill, charge in, Avenge our clansmen. Whoever kills Fang Yuan will be heavily rewarded by me, Shang Wu Jai. I, Kai Q, will personally set up an immortal formation for them. My Wu clan will open the treasury and let the person who kills Fang Yuan choose three immortal goo. The morale of southern borders goo immortals soared crazily in front of the great rewards. They split into various groups and moved to every area of the five regional mountain range, creating a perimeter around the central area before charging in. Caw caw. A series of chicken cries was heard. A giant immemorial year chicken suddenly appeared and blocked Shang Wu Jai's group. Fang Yuan had naturally made arrangements, spreading immemorial year beasts in all directions to block the enemy. This immemorial year chicken charged ferociously towards the southern border Gu Immortals. The accompanying rank 7 Gu Immortals felt a chill in their hearts and were about to defend with all their strength when they suddenly heard Shang Wu Jai's snort. A little chick trying to block me, Shang Wu Jai shouted, directly activating a rank 8 killer move. Boom. The immemorial year chicken was sent flying, it crashed into a mountain and fell unconscious immediately. The rank seven Gu immortals gasped at this sight. Their gaze towards Shang Wu Jai had already changed. Shang Wu Jai might be a rank eight Gu immortal, but he was never famous for his battle strength. I didn't imagine his offensive move to be so fierce. An immemorial year chicken is still an immemorial year beast, but was knocked unconscious by Shang Wu Jai without even a chance to retaliate. Ferocious, too ferocious. Shang Clan is ranked among the top five super forces of Southern Border, but the strength Shang Wu Jai showed is too powerful. Shang Wu Jai's performance was extremely shocking. No matter how weak the immemorial year chicken was, it was still at rank 8 level. Who could have thought it would be get done in by just one move read more chapter at Vit novel? Oh, he brought weak chicken goo with him. Fang Yuan was observing the situation outside while undergoing the tribulation. The immemorial year chicken's poor performance made Fang Yuan recall a famous transaction in his previous life. Ba Clan Rank 7 Gu Immortal Ba Jai paid an enormous price to obtain Rank 8 Weak Chicken Gu from Shang Clan. Because of some special method, he was actually able to use this Immortal Gu and increase his strength greatly, successively raising a huge storm in the Five Regions' chaotic war. Currently, Gu Immortal Ba Jai is still in closed cultivation. He is not famous and is hardly regarded by anyone. Weak Chicken Goo is still with Shang Clan and was brought by Shang Wu Jai to deal with me. Shang Wu Jai's battle strength was not outstanding among Southern Border's rank 8s, but he created a great sensation with Weak Chicken Goo. 
Fortunately, that immemorial year rooster was only unconscious and not killed, it could still be saved. Fang Yuan immediately sent an immemorial year snake to attack Shang Wu Jai's group. The two sides confronted, Shang Wu Jai was immediately obstructed, his previous momentum coming to an abrupt stop. Several other groups were also facing Shang Wu Jai's situation, and they all had rank 8 Gu Immortals. Fang Yuan was clearly prioritizing defending against these rank 8 existences. These immemorial year beasts were not the match of the rank 8 Gu Immortals in one-on-one -on -one combat, but they could block them for some time. Moreover, it was different in the five regional mountain range. The difficulty of using any immortal killer move increased greatly, and the Gu Immortal would even suffer the backlash. There were also attraction and repulsion forces that constantly disturbed the Gu Immortals. They not only had to concentrate on the fight, but also had to constantly pay attention to these constant attraction and repulsion forces. These attraction and repulsion forces became greater on those with higher cultivation. Rank 8 Gu Immortals would face great difficulty to make any move. This was also why, under normal situations, rank 8 Gu Immortals traveled through Black Heaven or White Heaven, detouring around this path. But in the end, the Five Regional Mountain Range was only an imitation of Five Regions Regional Walls, so its obstruction towards rank 8 Gu Immortals was not as powerful as the true Regional Walls. Even so, it still greatly restricted the actions of rank 8 Gu Immortals. For a moment, even Wu Yong had to use all his strength to fight the Immemorial Year Beast, unable to move any further. These Immemorial Year Beasts came from the River of Time and were not born in the Five Regions, so they suffered no restrictions. As for a mortal Gu House clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building, it was a consolidated immortal killer move and would be severely restrained in the Five Regional Mountain Range. Wu Yong had already stored it inside his immortal aperture and did not dare to rashly take it out. This demon scheme is truly sly. No wonder he chose this place to undergo tribulation. A Gu immortal coughed out blood and shouted. Forget us, charge in and disturb Fang Yuan's tribulation. We can't let him pass this tribulation, Kai Q shouted. Fang Yuan had arranged all the immemorial year beasts but their numbers were not as high as the southern border Gu Immortals. While the immemorial year beasts were restraining the southern border Immortals, they were also being restrained at the same time. Many southern border Gu Immortals passed around the immemorial year beasts and charged towards Fang Yuan. Formation, rise, Fang Yuan was not panicked. Under his command, a large immortal formation suddenly activated in the surroundings. Instantly, the southern border Gu Immortals lost their five senses. Dense fog appeared before them, making them lose their direction. This demon had a backup plan indeed. Don't be afraid, Immortal Gu Houses can't be used easily in the five regional mountain range. The same applies to Immortal Formations. Once enough time passes, it will collapse by itself. At that time, Fang Yuan will have to bear the backlash of the collapse. No, this is exactly that demon's plan. As long as he can hold out for this time and pass the tribulation, even if the formation collapses and he suffers backlash, he can use fixed immortal travel to escape. The southern border Gu immortals rapidly conversed with each other, immediately realizing Fang Yuan's delaying tactic. We need to break this formation as soon as possible. Do you have such methods? Not good, Kai Clan's Gu Immortals are all obstructed, none of them came. Damn it, this demon did it deliberately. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, a Gu Immortal's laughter could be heard. Everyone's gaze was attracted towards the source. They saw a person with a large head, small body, and crafty eyes. Someone immediately asked, Friend from Hu Clan, why are you laughing? Hu Clan Gu Immortal Hu Zai Shua stopped laughing and said, No need to be worried, everyone. I found that this formation has no space path ability. It is only confusing our senses and causing us to fail to detect the correct direction. I have a beast that can be used for this. Come out. Just as he finished speaking, 
a strange light shot out of Hu's eye Shuaz's immortal aperture and landed on his shoulder, turning into a monkey. This monkey was small, covered with dense amount of silver fur, it had eight ears, four on the left and four on the right. A Gu immortal gasped in shock, could this be an immemorial desolate beast eight ears monkey? Hu's eye Shua laughed loudly, you are exactly right. Ear monkey was a strange and precious beast. It was an information path beast. Even ordinary mortal ear monkeys were scarce. An immortal ear monkey was even rarer. When the ear monkey has six ears, it is a desolate beast. Seven ears meant ancient desolate beast. And eight ears meant an immemorial desolate beast. Instantly, the southern border immortals gazes towards Hu Zai Shua changed. Hu Zai Shua only had rank 7 cultivation. He neither had great battle strength nor was famous. Who could have thought he was actually hiding an immemorial desolate beast? He had really hidden it deeply. He might not have showed this trump card if not for this expedition to kill Fang Yuan. Monkey, monkey, where is the enemy? Hu Zai Shua stroked the eight ears monkey's small head and softly commanded. The Eight Ears Monkey, an immemorial desolate beast, was actually so tame that it obediently listened to Huzai Shua's words. It immediately tilted to the side and listened for a moment, before screeching and pointing towards a direction. Everyone followed its direction, immediately making continuous breakthroughs. Suddenly, the immortal formation changed. The Eight Ears Monkey immediately screamed loudly. It listened once again before pointing to another direction. Fang Yuan frowned, if this went on, he would not be able to block these southern border Gu immortals even if he repeatedly changed the formation. It is actually an eight ears monkey. Although Hu clan has always focused on raising and enslaving monkeys, I didn't think they had such a rare divine beast. Jun Shen Guang's killing intent rose. Killing Fang Yuan was of great importance. Jun Shen Guang hesitated for a moment before deciding to take the risk. When the southern border Gu Immortals had entered the five regional mountain range, he had already quietly activated a killer move to conceal himself and enter. The other heavenly court Gu Immortal, Wai Feng, was rapidly approaching as well. Beasts like Eight Ears Monkey can perceive everything in the surroundings. When Central Continent invades Southern Border, most of our concealment methods will be useless. Killing it will be greatly helpful to my Heavenly Court's plan. A trace of killing intent appeared in Jun Shen Guang's eyes when he looked at the Eight Ears Monkey. The Eight Ears Monkey immediately reacted, giving a sharp, panicked screech. This beast is quite sensitive. Jun Shen Guang quickly retracted his gaze and looked ahead. Forget it. I will spare it for now. The urgent task is still Fang Yuan. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Hu Zai Shua comforted the eight ears monkey. Right at this time, their vision suddenly cleared up. Some Gu immortals shouted, We have broken out. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The sovereign immortal aperture's entrance was wide open as it endlessly devoured the surging heaven and earth Kai. This is Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. We are close now. Their enemy was in front of them, but the southern border immortals were dazed. Looking at each other, none dared to move forward. Fang Yuan's terrifying might made these rank seven Gu immortals feel uneasy. HMPH, the southern alliance might have been established. But can the overall situation be changed instantly? These people are still a disorderly band, Jun Shen Guang sneered. He continued to move ahead while concealing himself. He was trying to enter Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. Once I enter Fang Yuan's immortal aperture, he will be in a passive state and will have to hold back for fear of destroying his own resources. I don't even have to fight Fang Yuan. I just need to move around while destroying his resources. Fang Yuan definitely would not be able to bear it. Even more perfect is that Fang Yuan's grand tribulation has yet to form. If I disturb him from the side, he will make a mistake trying to deal with everything, and I might really be able to kill him. But for more assurance, I should continue to hide inside his immortal aperture. 
and after Fang Yuan has fought the Tribulation and Southern Border Immortals for a while, I can make a fatal move. Haha, <laughs> I can't wait to see his expression when he realizes a powerful enemy has entered his immortal aperture. Jun Shen Guang possessed extremely powerful concealment methods. This was one of his specialties. Naturally, he knew there was also a possibility of him being seen through and discovered by Fang Yuan. But if he did not grasp such a great opportunity, he would miss a chance at victory. Moreover, the probability of Fang Yuan seeing through his concealment was low. What did not carry risk? Let alone when it would be a fierce battle. Jun Shen Guang was a high and mighty rank 8 Gu immortal, but he had never lost the courage to stake his life. It was just that he had a clear understanding of when he should take the risk and when he should not. Now is the time to stake my life. Jun Shen Guang's eyes shined with bright light as he activated his immortal killer move. He endured the backlash and entered the sovereign immortal aperture along with heaven and earth Kai. The southern border immortals had all been maintaining investigative killer moves, but none of them detected Jun Shen Guang. Chapter 1624 This is a trap. The immortal aperture's entrance was wide open, but the scale of the absorption of heaven and earth Kai had already decreased by a lot. What is this? The enemy is in front of you and you are all hesitating. A Tai clan Gu immortal shouted at the southern border immortals. Many became red with shame. They immediately came to their senses and someone yelled, Let's charge in together. Fang Yuan is still undergoing tribulation. We will win this battle. Whoever runs away will be the biggest disgrace of Southern Border's righteous path. That's right. Let's charge into his immortal aperture. Even if we die, we will make sure this demon has huge losses. Hehe, <laughs> why so pessimistic? This demon has extorted so many things. His immortal aperture definitely has wondrous and rare resources. Not to mention he also has a few secluded domains of heaven and earth. My clan's Gu Immortal is still in his captivity. I wonder where he is putting the captives. I have already checked. There are no immortal formations around us. Whose eyes Shua assured while stroking the eight ears monkey's small head. The southern border immortals immediately put their hearts at ease. Fang Yuan's formation had made southern border's righteous path suffer huge losses. After this problem was removed, their morale soared, charging into the entrance of the immortal aperture one after the other. Buzz, buzz, buzz. But right at this moment, there was a change. Ear-piercing buzzing sounds resounded throughout the battlefield, almost bursting the immortal's eardrums. At the same time, an extremely dazzling light burst out. Many southern border Gu immortals were caught off guard. Their vision was covered in white as they temporarily lost sight. The southern border immortals were shocked. They defended in panic while sending out countless killer moves towards the center of the light. The person inside the light was not Fang Yuan, but Jun Shen Guang. He was furious and shaken. This killer move of mine is Fright Light. It will activate automatically when I face fatal danger and I don't need to control it. Fright Light was activated when I tried to sneak into Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. What's going on? Could there still be a trap? He was a rank 8 Gu immortal. He retreated rapidly while blocking the bombardment of the southern border immortals. Haha, <laughs> you have great methods, but since you have arrived, why be in a hurry to leave? Fang Yuan's leisurely laughter reached Jun Shen Guang's ears. Jun Shen Guang's mind jolted, crying out, Oh no! He immediately sensed a formless attraction force pulling him, trying to drag him into Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. Immediately, Jun Shen Guang's doubt completely disappeared. He was certain that this was Fang Yuan's trap. Jun Shen Guang roared and without regard for the backlash from the five regional mountain range, he crazily activated his immortal killer moves to resist the formless attraction force. Jun Shen Guang used his main method to turn into a ray of strange light once again and tried to shoot out of the battlefield. But although the killer move succeeded, the strange light's speed was so slow, to the point of being like a snail or a tortoise. 
Damn it. This is a time path method. Jun Shen Guang immediately identified it because this time path method had slowed down his time by close to 100 times. Jun Shen Guang was extremely shocked. I am a rank 8 Gu immortal with rank 8 Dao marks. Why am I being slowed down so much? Fang Yuan's time path method is actually at rank 8 level. This is completely beyond the previous information. How did he achieve this? What happened? I have been struck. Time is extremely slow. It is like I am trapped in a swamp. Quickly think of some way. Like Jun Shen Guang, the nearby southern border immortals were also in the same situation. Haha, <laughs> you all came uninvited. I should naturally pay such enthusiasm a hundredfold in return. Fang Yuan descended on the battlefield. They saw a Gu immortal wearing a loose white robe, with black hair fluttering in the wind. His face was handsome to the point of being beautiful. A pair of deep abyss-like eyes with a gaze filled with coldness and terrifying killing intent. The Gu immortals here were all too familiar with this appearance, such that their bodies started shaking and their faces paled in fright. Someone among the Gu immortals said with a trembling voice, Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan ignored these rank seven Gu immortals and looked at Jun Shen Guang. Jun Shen Guang's face was red as he used all his strength to get rid of the time path restraints. He had plenty of methods and they were showing good effects under his efforts. The time path restraints on him were decreasing and his speed was subsequently increasing. Fang Yuan smiled, slowly extending his left arm. His pristine jade-like hand spread open elegantly, like the blossoming of a white lotus. Soul Path Aura surged out and instantly shrunk fiercely, condensing into an illusory figure in Fang Yuan's left palm. This illusory figure looked like the real Luo Po Valley, but shrunk by countless times. Luo Po Valley's illusory figure leisurely rotated while Fang Yuan's left hand began to slowly close. Jun Shen Guang's mind rang madly with warning signals. An unprecedented sense of danger had shrouded his whole body and mind. His eyes opened wide, almost about to rip open from the nervousness. What is this killer move? Terrifying, too terrifying. My feeling is not wrong. I will not survive if I get hit by this move. Escape, I must escape. Jun Shen Guang's face turned completely red. His thin brows trembled madly as his previous grace completely disappeared. Immortal killer moved Sun Deity's radiance. With a shout, he directly used his strongest method. His whole body turned into a lump of light. Endless light erupted. It was like a small sun had appeared in the battlefield. The scalding white light had inexhaustible might. Wherever it went, Fang Yuan's time path methods crumbled apart. The southern border immortals had just freed themselves when they were engulfed by the endless glaring sunlight. The imitation regional wall that spread over every mountain dissipated completely under the illumination of the powerful sunlight. The whole five regional mountain range began to shake, especially the center of the battlefield where large amounts of mountain rocks began to crumble and fall. The aftereffects of Sun Deity's radiance even affected other battlefields. Southern Borders groups with rank 8s, who were fighting with immemorial year beasts, were heavily disturbed by this. This is a rank 8 Gu Immortal of Central Continent. HMPH, this is probably a person of heavenly court. The light dissipated. The scene at the central battlefield became extremely clear. Suddenly, a Gu Immortal cried out in shock. Wait, that immortal aperture, that is my clansman's immortal aperture. What? It is not Fang Yuan's immortal aperture? Everyone was terrified. This is a trap. Jun Shen Guang shouted as he forcibly concentrated and retreated madly. Escaping? Fang Yuan suddenly appeared above Jun Shen Guang. Jun Shen Guang's heart shook fiercely as he stared at Fang Yuan rigidly with narrowed eyes. In that instant, he suddenly realized that rather than saying Fang Yuan was ambushing southern border Gu immortals, it was more accurate to say he was specially ambushing heavenly courts members like himself. So your true target was me. HMPH, you have already exposed that move, 
I am now already on guard. Your trap has also collapsed. Can you still restrain me? Amir rank 7. I am a rank 8 Gu Immortal. I also have Wai Feng rushing here now. Unless this group of southern border Gu Immortals teamed up with you, do you think you can kill me? Jun Shen Guang breathed heavily. Countless rays of light flowed around him like liquid, protecting him heavily. Sure enough, the southern border immortals attacked at the next moment. Their target was Fang Yuan. Wu Yang took the lead, while Kai Qiu and Shang Wu Jai followed closely behind. They attacked Fang Yuan, disregarding the attacks of the immemorial year beasts. Following them, large numbers of southern border Gu immortal experts used their main techniques. Jun Shen Guang laughed heartily. Fang Yuan, you demon, you have brought your own doom by committing so many sins. You still want to kill me? Your death is certain today. Is that so? In the brink of danger, Fang Yuan was still calm. The corners of his lips even rose slightly to reveal a mocking smile. Boom. At the next moment, his rank 7 aura suddenly changed. An incomparable aura soared to the skies and shot in all directions. Everyone at the scene was greatly shocked. What? Rank 8 aura? Impossible. Fang Yuan's body paused slightly before he lightly pointed his finger. Immortal killer moved spring scissors. Next, he folded his hands, his sleeves fluttered and formed a fan. Immortal killer moved summer fan. This is... Kai Qiu and Shang Wu Jai were dumbstruck at this scene. This is Lady Zia Cha's. Several of Zia clan's rank 7 Gu immortals cried out. An extremely bad feeling shrouded everyone's hearts. Rumble. Spring scissors attacked Jun Shen Guang, immediately suppressing him, while Summer Fan, which was in Fang Yuan's hand, waved rapidly, blocking all killer moves of the southern border immortals. At this moment, Fang Yuan's demonic aura surged as he fought the whole group alone. It was a grand spectacle. Chapter 1625 Liu Po Seal Shock All the Gu immortals present at the scene felt shocked at seeing Fang Yuan fight against everyone. They had come to obstruct and disturb Fang Yuan from passing his tribulation, to prevent him from becoming rank 8. But none of them had thought that when they saw him, he was already rank 8. This unexpected result caught all of them off guard. When did he advance to rank 8? Kai Kyu's eyes were wide open in disbelief. It is not strange for him to be able to use spring scissors and summer fan. The important thing is that these killer moves have been amplified by time path Dao marks and are able to obstruct all the attacks. Even if Fang Yuan advanced to rank 8, how could he have gained so many time path Dao marks in such a short period of time? I think he has likely possessed Zia Cha's body and used familiar face to deceive us and make us think he has already passed the tribulation. Shang Wu Jai forced himself to calm down and analyzed. No, first Supreme Elders Spring and Summer are both rank 8 Immortal Gu and can only be activated by rank 8 Immortal Essence. Zia clan's second supreme elder Zia Zhao shouted. Then, Shang Wu Jai immediately hesitated. Immortal essence contained the Gu immortal's will and had to belong to themselves. If they died, their heavenly spirit or land spirit could use their immortal essence. The only exception was immortal Gu houses as immortal essence from any source could be used in them. But the killer moves Fang Yuan used were clearly not immortal Gu houses. If Feng Yuan was only rank 7 with Red Date Immortal Essence, he would not be able to activate rank 8 Immortal Gu Spring and Summer, even if he possessed Zia Cha's body and obtained her Immortal Essence. No use in thinking much. We will know after killing Feng Yuan. Wu Yang called out. He flew forward, the immemorial year beast behind him collapsed to the ground, unable to get up. At this crucial moment, Wu Yang displayed powerful battle strength. He first killed Fang Yuan's immemorial year beast and then used all his strength to attack Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, Wu Yang's gaze was cold as his battle intent surged wildly. Even if you have truly advanced to rank 8, you won't escape your doom today. 
This five regional mountain range, which you carefully chose, will be your graveyard. Just as he finished speaking, the whole mountain range began to tremor violently. The ground quaked, the mountains shook, and debris flew everywhere. What's happening? The immortals were stunned. Wu Yong's voice traveled to everyone's ears. Don't panic, this is a backup plan I arranged. It can change the alignment of the earth vein under the five regional mountain range and destroy the mountain range. The immortals were even more puzzled. So what if the earth vein's alignment changed? But soon, they had a pleasant surprise. As the mountain range gradually crumbled, the five colored lights unique to the five regional mountain range were also rapidly dissipating. This, even Jun Shen Guang was astonished. Amazing. Without these shackles, our battle strength will recover and we will no longer be restrained. Southern Border's Gu Immortals were rejoicing. Wu Yang is indeed different from Wu Du Ziyu. He still had another card up his sleeve. Shang Wu Jai's eyes flickered with sharp lights. How can Wu Clan be so familiar with five regional mountain range? There cannot be this level of effect just by changing the alignment of the earth vein. They also would have to know the arrangements made by Tao Zhu back then. Kai Q's thoughts were fluctuating rapidly. The large formation, set up by Wu clans and Kaio clans Gu immortals in the periphery of the five regional mountain range, was constantly rumbling. It was the source of the change in the entire five regional mountain range. Kaio Si Liu, Wu Yu Bo and some others were in charge of this formation. Wu Yubo chuckled coldly while looking towards the battlefield. This demon Fang Yuan wants to rely on the five regional mountain range, now that we have destroyed his territorial advantage. How will he defend against our southern border righteous paths attacks? Kaio Si Liu was silent. Her expression was slightly complicated. She had once been quite close with Wu Yi Hai and had even believed she and he would get married. But the outcome was shocking beyond her imagination. Wu Yi Hai was actually Fang Yuan in disguise. She felt a chill every time she thought of how close she had been with a great demon like Fang Yuan. She did not have any feelings left for Fang Yuan. Her complicated emotions were because of the five regional mountain range. Everyone thought Tao Zhu's research of the regional walls did not succeed, but that was not quite true. Kaio clan had by chance obtained clues to Tao Zhu's inheritance and had been secretly exploring the clues to excavating the inheritance. But they had not expected Wu Yang to know of this information, and under his pressure, Kaio clan had to offer their findings which were then used now. It was because of such clues that Wu Yang had a deep understanding of the five regional mountain range and could make the lights of the five regions disappear by changing the earth vein. If it were any other who tried to change the earth vein without knowledge, unless they were extremely lucky, the lights would still exist for the most part. Oh, this is a rank 8 Gu Immortals inheritance, but it is all used up here, and with the destruction of the five regional mountain range, there is no hope in exploring the inheritance anymore. Kaio Si Liu sighed. She seemed to have had many thoughts, but a very short time had passed. Jun Shen Guang's fright light activated as he was chased by Fang Yuan. The southern border immortals attacked Fang Yuan, but their attacks were blocked by Fang Yuan who revealed rank 8 cultivation. Southern border immortals conversed rapidly. While Wu Yang made the first move, the five regional mountain range crumbled, removing Fang Yuan's terrain advantage. All these changes happened in an instant. Fang Yuan endured the southern border immortals' attacks while still chasing after Jun Shen Guang even when Wu Yang was nearing him. Jun Shen Guang had used his trump card. His aura had already fallen to an extreme point. His sun deity's radiance killer move was extremely powerful, but it not only expended a huge amount of white lich eye immortal essence, it also permanently decreased his light path Dao marks. It was a move that dealt damage to the enemy as well as to himself. Moreover, he had activated it inside the five regional mountain range and had already suffered a powerful backlash. Although he managed to escape for the moment, he was seriously injured. 
But now, the lights of the five regions were rapidly weakening. Jun Shen Guang felt like a huge load was removed from his back. He felt more at ease in his movements as his greatest concern was removed. Looking at Wu Yang rushing towards Fang Yuan, a thought appeared in Jun Shen Guang's mind. Should I cooperate with the southern border Gu Immortals to kill Fang Yuan? This thought had just emerged when it was immediately rejected by Jun Shen Guang. Continue to escape. The current situation was extremely complex. He was not a southern border Gu Immortal. More importantly, Fang Yuan was chasing him. If he managed to escape, it would mean Fang Yuan's failure. Jun Shen Guang prioritizing his escape was a very wise move. Fang Yuan was still chasing him closely, disregarding Wu Yang. At this time, there was another change. A powerful aura suddenly emerged. Enormous pillars in five colors soared to the skies. A loud voice reverberated throughout the five regional mountain range. Junior, you did well. You actually passed my final test of destroying the five regional mountain range. Now, my five regions inheritance is yours. Cultivate properly, and you can move unrestrained and unhindered over the world in the future. Don't let down my name. In the middle of the five colored light pillars, a smoke-like will condensed into the vivid appearance of a goo immortal. Many gazes were inevitably attracted towards this. Someone recognized this appearance. This looks like old man Taozhu. This can't be, right? At the periphery of the mountain range, Kaio Si Liu heard the voice from within the pillars and felt strange. Taozhu's final test was to destroy the five regional mountain range. This accidental action actually activated Tao Zhu's inheritance. Tao Zhu's will heard someone calling him old man and immediately felt unhappy, speaking arrogantly. What old man? Since you are inheriting my inheritance, how could you be so disrespectful? Rumble. Wind blew rapidly, heaven and earth roared. Replying to him was Wu Yang's rank 8 killer move, but it was targeted towards Fang Yuan and not him. Fang Yuan's immortal robe shook and ripples appeared on it. It was the immortal killer move reverse flow protection seal. This move reflected the attack. Wu Yang continued to close in while enduring the reflected attack. Fang Yuan's speed was immediately restrained. The move Wu Yang used had an extremely wide range, so reverse flow protection seal only reflected back a portion that had struck Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan continued to fly while reflecting the attacks back. Although he was completely safe, his speed was greatly reduced. Fang Yuan had already used Reverse Flow Protection Seal many times. How could Wu Yang not have prepared specific restricting methods? What? Tao Zhu's will was stunned. He quickly looked around and saw several Rank 8 Gu Immortals fighting. There were also many Rank 7 experts present on the scene. He almost broke down from the shock. What? What's going on? This was completely different from his original expectation. There was no respectful junior in front of him. There were only vicious and fierce goo immortals. Ignore him, he is just a dead man. The inheritance is here. We can take it after the battle. The urgent thing now is to kill Fang Yuan. Not to mention Tao Zhu's inheritance, I would even give up a Gu Venerable's true inheritance to kill Fang Yuan. The immortals shouted in fury, their attention once again focusing on Fang Yuan's body. Tao Zhu's will. He was stupefied. This was completely out of his expectations. Shortly afterwards, he shook as he reacted. Who in the world is that person being chased by so many Gu immortals? To kill him. They can even give up a Gu Venerable's true inheritance. Tao Zhu's will look towards Fang Yuan, but did not recognize him. Who is this person? Someone who became a Gu Immortal after my main body's death. Right at this time, Fang Yuan had finally caught up to Jun Shen Guang. Jun Shen Guang's whole body was soaked in sweat from the nervousness. Intense warning signals caused his heart to beat like a drum. He escaped with all his strength while cursing internally. Wu Yang, you bastard. What killer move did you use, even trapping me? Wu Yang's killer move had an extremely wide range. Even Jun Shen Guang received its care. 
Wu Yang's exquisite method was not so easily broken. Jun Shen Guang's strength fell sharply. His speed fell even more than Fang Yuan's. It's over. Fang Yuan mumbled lightly as he attacked with no change in his expression, calm like an ancient well. The illusory figure of Luo Po Valley in his palm was slowly rotating. Suddenly, Fang Yuan's fingers clenched it tightly. A gray light shot out from the gap between the fingers. Fang Yuan then opened his palm and slapped towards the distant Jun Shen Guang. Comment. The light shot out with extreme speed. Jun Shen Guang dodged it frantically like a headless housefly. Wu Yang, who was chasing from behind, had a sinister look in his eyes. A wild wind suddenly blew around Jun Shen Guang, obstructing him heavily. Wu Yang, I curse your grandmother. Jun Shen Guang did not even have time to complete his curse when Fang Yuan's gray light struck him. In an instant, his flight came to an abrupt stop. His physical body had no injuries, but his soul was heavily injured to the point it was almost extinguished. Immortal killer move Luo Po Seal. While Jun Shen Guang was in a daze, an immortal Gu House suddenly appeared beside Fang Yuan. Inside the immortal Gu House, Ying Lu Zai attacked Jun Shen Guang with a killer move he had prepared for a while. Immortal killer move lead soul into dream. Jun Shen Guang could not react, instantly falling into a dream realm, unable to extricate himself. The immortal Gu House was shadowy and faint, it immediately absorbed Jun Shen Guang and flew to Fang Yuan's side. Wu Yang paled from fright. He had disturbed Jun Shen Guang because he wanted to test the power of Fang Yuan's move. After all, Jun Shen Guang was not a southern border Gu immortal, why not make use of him once? But Wu Yang had never expected Fang Yuan to capture Jun Shen Guang in one move. Previously, Fang Yuan had captured the southern border immortals by trapping them in a meticulously laid out time path formation. But now, he captured Jun Shen Guang with just a few methods. Such an increase in battle strength was simply horrifying. What killer move is that? It feels like it only targets the Gu Immortal's soul. It has such terrifying might, I must defend against it. There is also the Immortal Gu House. What is that Immortal Gu House? It almost cannot be detected when it is concealed. Southern Borders Rank 8s rushed over with surging momentum. But when they witnessed Fang Yuan capturing Jun Shen Guang, they were shocked and bewildered as their battle intent fell sharply. 